Hi, this is Senator Tony Huang. I'm here with Representative Laura Devlin. I will actually be voting no on extending the executive powers of Governor Lamont. I feel it is due time for representative government and equal branches of government to engage in lawmaking and policy making long enough with the emergency executive powers that's been granted. It is due course for us to have co-equal branches of government discussing issues related to masks in schools, to how we move forward as a state and as communities. So I will be voting no, and it is key, due time for us to get back to representing and doing the people's work. The rest of our state has opened, and it's time that our state government does fully as well. I, I fully supported giving Governor Lamont these executive powers when we were first confronted with the COVID-19 pandemic. His powers have been extended twice, and now to do it again when clearly we're not in a state of emergency just isn't appropriate. There will always be what ifs, and as a government, we need to be able to adapt to that. And if there's something that requires our attention as a legislature, we can be called right back in here in the state capitol, like has happened time over time again, depending on whatever the majority feels is the priority at the time. So I also will be a strong no vote and uh, following really the voices that we have both heard from our communities, from parents on both sides of the aisle, that it is not only time to end his emergency powers, but decisions about face masks should be made at a local level and made based on science with our health directors involved. Make no mistake about it, Connecticut should be extremely proud of the progress and the success we've made. It is due to the individuals, our municipal leaders, our frontline healthcare workers, and the legislators collaborating at that moment in time. It is due time for us to move forward to addressing the challenges that we have, not only in the forms of government, equal branches of government, but how we can help our businesses and get people back to work and to really meet the challenges ahead instead of being stuck in this limbo right now we need to move forward, and it needs to be done with all of our collective forces, equal branches of government engaged in this process. So I'm excited, and I hope that our legislators will speak up for themselves for the important role that they have as representative elected officials to have their equal branches of government be represented. But I hope that it'll happen, but I don't think it will. I don't think we'd be here if it would. One party rule is not good for anything.